everybody, well, what is going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be doing is modifying our enemy uh, to have a little bit of randomness to his shot. So, um, what we have right now is an enemy that basically hits us every time, no matter what, as long as there's an option. Obviously, right now, there's not an option for the poor guy. Let's see if we can move back. <laughs> okay, so now there's an option for him to actually hit us. <clears throat> and as you can see, he never messes up. Even if we were to move, he wouldn't mess up. Now, if I move, uh, he's not going to be able to hit me, and I'm not going to be able to hit him either. Um, he's probably still, let's see. Um, man, two in a row that were uh, pretty unlucky here. Let's try more. <laughs> uh, okay, that should be easier. <clears throat> so, you know, we fire, and he's always like a perfect shot, right? So we can move again. Fire, he fires, boom, he's another perfect shot, no matter what, no matter where we go. And obviously that's a problem, right, because he's just too good. We're probably never, ever, ever going to beat him unless we get really lucky on the first shot and happen to hit him, and then we can be like, oh, okay, we'll just keep firing, and then we would win. But that's not a very fun game because everything rides on that first hit. You have no chance if you don't hit your first hit. So how do we add a little bit of randomness to this? Well... First of all, what dictates where that shot goes? So for our enemy, <clears throat> for our enemy, we I can't I lost my mouse. We scroll down to uh, the E fire shell. So right here, and so our enemy runs through this whole sequence here, basically just looking for like what the proper power level is. Then when he finds it, he's going to start over again. Only this time, he's just going to use that single like power level, which. Um, would be basically here current power and from there we'll shoot the friendly tank so we've got current power well what we can do instead is we could take um, we can take current power and what we want to do is kind of modify current power so if you recall we can obviously if we add power to the gun it's going to shoot a little further and if we take away power it's going to chew a little closer. So that'll add a little bit of randomness uh, to the point where um, he'll, he's going to miss. Even though he knows what the perfect shot is, he'll still miss. So again, it's going to give the appearance like he's not a perfect player, only he is perfect. He's just purposely screwing up to make you feel good about yourself. So <laughs> anyway, let's do uh, gun power. <clears throat> and we'll say gun power equals random dot rand range. And this will be a random range between the integer of current power times 0 0.9. Uh, so that's like the first option that we'll use. And then we'll have um, int current power times 1.10. Close these off. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely want to have. Um, what am I missing? Times. Let's do this. There we go. All right. So what this is going to do is just be a random range between ninety percent and one hundred and ten percent of the power. We want to convert that to an integer, so it's a whole number for us. Um, because if you recall, we come all the way down here now. I suppose it probably wouldn't matter because we encased everything in an integer anyways. Um, but it's best to go ahead and, and have that just in case. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll save and run that and see how it, how it works out for us. <coughs> Play. So now, well, we've got this kind of nasty uh, thing. So, okay, so let's go ahead and save and run that again. Hopefully we get a better barrier. We need to fix the barrier. Um, okay, so this is a good one. So we can move and let's go ahead and try to try to hit this guy. Dang it. That was a pretty perfect shot. If he gets another perfect shot, I'm gonna think we screwed up the code somewhere. Sure seems to be hitting like every time. Let me uh, let's add a, a huge degree of variability to this uh, and see if that helps. Uh, so instead of 0.9, let's go ahead and make it 0.7 and 1.5. <coughs> Fire. Okay, now <laughs> let's do one more and make sure, but I'm pretty sure this is okay. Okay, I know what we've done. Derp. It's too early in the morning. I haven't finished all of my coffee yet. 
So let's return this back to 0 0.9 and 1.1. .1. And now we actually have to use gun power. So instead of current power divided by 50, we need to pass through gun power. I need to drink the rest of my coffee. So let's go ahead and save and run that play. Uh, that's probably going to be impossible for the poor guy. Let's try it one more time. That'll be a little better. <clears throat> Hopefully. All right, so let's hit this guy, 80%. Oh, slight miss. So that time you can see he did actually even miss me. There we go. Let's get him. We're going to beat him, guys. We are going to beat him. He did look. He got me on that shot. But as you can see, he's like missing on some of these other shots. Oops, sorry. I pressed my space bar too many times there. Anyway. Um, okay, so we actually won for once. Awesome. So now that we have that, now also, you know, why did we win? First of all, we won because we located his option, or his, like, the proper, like, amounts, and just kept firing the same shot. So it's not really a challenge once you find the, the enemy tank. So we still want him to move. We also want the turret, or, I mean, the, the barrier to uh, be in different positions. So we definitely want to uh, code both of those things in the very near future. Um, so the barrier is getting a little too close or a little too tall, one or the other. One or the other. Um, so we need to change that. I would say that we just need to not let it get so close, but let it keep its height. Um, so anyways, that's what we're going to have to modify, and we also want the enemy tank to move. So that's what you guys have to look forward to. So thanks for watching, and until the next video.